all right pisces gang what it do it's your girl empress 777 here today with your almost daily love reading hope you guys are doing super fantastic i certainly am we're ready to jump right in holy angels and spirit guides give me clear concise messages for my pisces gang gang it's gonna be for sun moon rising and venus signs it is general guys okay it may or may not resonate can be for every pisces take what resonates and leave the rest right keep an open mind cut up with us a little bit cross watches put yourself where you belong in the story you already know how it goes take a moment to click that like button for me guys okay support your girl we are growing so fast i do have to say that okay i'm so appreciative no complaints at all y'all really have been looking out we are growing okay guys um click the subscribe button become a part of our family i do upload for you guys quite often so also click the notification bell um and i think that's it for our church announcements let's move on to the main course what we have here guys is a bit of a pre-shuffle which i intuitively was guided to do all right so just follow me now okay so what we have here guys i just have to say this is going to be a bit of a different read right i was even shocked at the energy that was coming out I do have someone here who is working extremely hard. They're working overtime, double time, right? Um, in overdrive to turn things around, okay? To try and show you the part of themselves that they possibly should have shown in the beginning. Um, but because of one of the cards that popped out, I don't even know if that was possible. So we we are dealing with, guys, a contractual connection here. So if you were wondering why you felt such a magnetic attraction to this person, um, even if you hate their guts, it's like, damn, why do I care about what you're doing? Damn, why do I, why am I looking at my phone? Why do I care if you text me? Why do I care that you didn't respond, you know, quick enough? Or why do I even fucking care? You know what I'm saying? Especially given the track record, you know, you wish that you could just release this shit already and it just kind of keeps popping back up. Even if you feel like you're already over it, like right now, you're not because they're here. You see what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Can we just move on? Can we just move on to something else? Not quite that easy, because of this right so when this pops out only you know if you've encountered your twin flame right not everybody is aware of what this kind of connection can entail oh but baby, baby this is some difficult ass shit i'm just gonna say that i don't like to glamorize it it is very hard it can be very dark and just extremely difficult relationship to navigate um, it often is the relationship that leads you to spiritual awakening for some, okay? Um, more times than not, there is a awakened twin and then there is a twin who is still operating out of their shadow. And ultimately, the twin operating out of the shadow um, pushes the the awakened twin away you see what i'm saying um so this is what we're dealing with guys if it's not a twin flame it's still contractual so very much soulmate energy i feel an extreme magnetic pull i mean the passion is off the charts okay that's this is the first card that popped out okay even though they didn't have me speak about it first this is the very first card that popped out um that led me to intuitively do a pre-shuffle for you um lots of passion here very hard to turn away from a soul tie like no other something that has been extremely difficult to release this person is even um tapping into your dreams right um or you are tapping into theirs right so that's mirrored energy um the reason why I said this is going to be a little bit different than what I expected is because I do feel energies of the work being done does that mean there will be union in this lifetime who knows absolutely not that doesn't mean that that does not guarantee that ma'am sir bruh sis i'm glad that you're getting yourself together i'm glad that you are now looking in the mirror you know what i'm saying i'm glad that you are now more self-aware and that you are currently chopping away at that ego that so detrimentally tortured my pisces okay if we just gonna call a spade a spade i know i said i wasn't gonna get in your ass because i feel sorry you know what i'm saying but it is what it is we just got to keep it a buck right y'all we got to keep it a buck um we have someone transforming guys there is a transformation going on here and it's just so sad that people have to be bought to a certain point oftentimes that point is when the other person is fucking done 
And now you want to change. And now you want to be different. Now you want to be the, the one that I needed you to be, right? But with this here, it all makes sense. Do you understand? So t as you know, Twin Flames are... Um, the connections, uh, uh, the mirrored soul connection, right? You're the same person, um, same soul, um, twins, if you will. Um, if you need to know or if you want to have more information on that, definitely look it up. It is um, truly, it's a rabbit hole for sure. Like, I'm going to tell you, right? Like, once you look at one article, start reading that shit, you just dig deeper and deeper and deeper. And it's some deep, it is very, very deep, guys, okay? Um, this is something that, is really taking over the energy in this read right now. Um, we have somebody, guys, who is currently on the path to transformation. Um, you do not have to end up with your twin in this lifetime, though. And that's what this person, I don't think, understands. You know what I'm saying? Um, they do know that, or they can now see the negative traits that they brought to this connection. Um, but they are hell-bent, that's the phrase, hell-bent on at least getting a listening ear or at least showing you right um more action than than words because i feel like their words in the past were um not accounted for like you could not rely on that shit. so they know that that won't work it'll be it'll seem like all talk to you um there's a different plan here to to have more action behind these changes that this person has made now i don't feel like the transformation is complete and i feel like they may be tr prematurely trying to come back in to solidify things with you for the fear that someone else will grab you up oh my god don't do that you need to complete this. You have to do the work. You have to. Because that's the only way that union will be possible. I mean, that is the end goal, right? Um, so I don't know how you feel about this. I'm just reading these cards, guys, okay? Um, they very much so want you to, want you to have a more open mind um, about how things have transpired this could be somebody who is delving into um getting information about twin flames and soulmates and this could be something that they're bringing to you in this conversation to kind of get you to change your perspective on the past but i don't know how successful that will be you know that's a little bit creative but i don't know um full moon and sagittarius so some of you could be dealing with the sagittarius i also heard scorpio and i also heard cancer so take that how it resonates um even though those cards didn't pop out i just heard them so look at the bigger picture is is what this is entailing um i think your picture is crystal clear it's big as fuck it's as big as you would like it to be at this time um but they are definitely going to try to coerce you um to see it their way now persuasion maybe i don't get the feel of manipulation though if i'm going to be very honest manipulative in the past yes but we do have somebody who has um they have made some changes y'all they are a different person you're not going to recognize them you're not going to recognize the way they behave if you entertain this it's free will i can't tell you what the fuck to do you know what i'm saying but their plan is to try and come back and renew revive this um I just think it's being done a little bit too prematurely. I just have to say that. I'm not going to leave that out. Let me pull one of these. Um, this is the Island Will. What is it? It's the um, Island Time and Wellness Oracle deck. I'm just intuitively feeling. Okay, so we have. Ooh, see? Yeah. And, and, and they, they need to be very careful, guys. Okay? So this is somebody in the past who you didn't feel like you had to look out for. And they betrayed you and they 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 definitely it came back to bite you is what you feel like right you feel like you were dealing with a snake um caught you off guard whatever that was whatever it is that they've done definitely came from out of nowhere right brought you to your knees very very dark dark time this has been a painful connection you guys it started off though as a fairy tale like you know so the best shit you could have ever asked for you couldn't even believe it right that 
you found this person unlike any other relationship or any other person that you've encountered and it is because of this contract it is because the two of you have known each other before um but a lot of times the pain in these connections comes from that sh that twin that operates out of their shadow um whatever tactics they use to push the person away and that tactic is different for everyone some people use manipulation it's always toxic though <laughs> okay that's the common denominator whatever tactic they use to push away the awakened twin is always toxic as fuck and it ultimately sabotages and a lot of times brings the connection to a demise um some twin flame connections are able to get back right within the lifetime but it's free will again you don't have to end up with your twin flame so we have competition enemy malicious um look over your shoulder like this is how you feel about this person because you it caught you off guard, whatever this betrayal was, whatever it is that they did, um, or however it is that they treated you, you just never would have thought, right? You didn't think that you had to look out for them. You know what I'm saying? You are you are a good judge of character and you keep your circle very small to begin with. So you didn't really think that you had to look in your house though. You know what I'm saying? You didn't think your enemies was in your fucking house or, you know, the person that you are supposedly building something with a connection with. So that is like the ultimate betrayal. Like that is a heartbreaker. I'm gonna tell you, okay? I'm definitely sending you love and light. Okay, but this person is definitely aware of the negativity that they possessed. They are currently working on releasing that, guys. Okay? And when I say currently, I mean this is something that is still going on and this is why I feel like it's premature for them to try and come in but they're just so excited like it's like why are you excited though <laughs> you know what I'm saying these are changes that Pisces gave you a chance to make a long fucking time ago and now you're excited because you finally decided to do it it's like I did it mom dad I, I finally you know what I'm saying made my bed like I finally did it like come see right like come see my artwork come see what I did come see you know how I've grown and they're so excited for you to see these changes. They want to show you, but there is still so much work to do. So I'm going to need you to have a seat, ma'am, sir, bro. Says, I know you're excited and everything. I'm excited for you, but I'm also worried for your ass. So please, I don't advise this. I'm going to just say that, okay? Intuitively, I just, I don't advise it. But um, I think the part of their ego where they don't listen to nobody is still there. So they're not going to listen to me. Wow. All right, so... Let's pull a few tarot cards here. I don't know, y'all. This is wow, heavy energy, very, very heavy. Um, so what is this person's current feelings? That flip over. Oh, yeah, <laughs> wow, they miss you, they want to reach out, they want to know if you've given it to anybody else. Um, they want to come in and kind of like woo you and um get you to look at them the way that you used to uh, what what kind of delusional shit is this y'all I, I don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know the changes are being made though i have to say that right i keep it real I, this person is currently actively okay working to make necessary changes but they're not there yet. You see what I'm saying? We still have this passionate card coming out for some of you. This is somebody who was very inconsistent, very in and out, hot and cold, um, laying it low, spreading it wide. Lots of different people not really choosing you when you were choosing them. Um, someone who was unreliable, um, someone who was a good time, but they weren't a secure bet you know what I'm saying you couldn't really put your feet up and coast in this shit you were waiting for something else to happen you couldn't really relax um and they are very much so still that individual but just with some some minor tweaks oh, oh my gosh I have a headache and the minor tweaks to them though they feel are like monumental changes that they've made for you that you should be appreciative of. Man, if you don't get the fuck out of here, I'm done. I can't do this. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do it. I will not do this. Um, you have to kill that whole ego. Don't you know that? Like that takes time. Like death of the ego is what we're needing here. Oh boy. 
and the Knight of Wands. That's what's coming out. So it's a very lustful energy. It's somebody who's definitely lusting after this relationship. I don't know what you did to them in that bedroom, but they're definitely thinking about that. Okay. Um, the possibilities of being with you again physically. It's a very, very physical connection. Um, and this is something that I feel like they're holding on to. I feel like this is like their uh, incentive to make these changes because you pulled the cord, like you locked down the draw, like you, you fucking took away, you know, their snack. Oh boy. We also have the Ace of Wands. You cannot make this up. This is a very lustful individual, guys. They have a lot of passion for you. Um, they are extremely attracted to you. They almost get a little bit possessive when they think about the physicalities that the two of you have shared. If you've never shared physicality with this person, they're still thinking about it, like fantasizing about it, etc, etc. Um, and also a bit of um, anger when they think about you moving on. Wow. So the attraction is off the charts. The passion is off the charts. Some of you already have new people. It's not a lot. It's just something that they told me to say. So please tell me down in the comments if that's you. If you've already if you've already started entertaining other people, um, the jealousy is going to be off the charts if they find this out. They kind of feel like you're theirs and you would have always been theirs even if they decided to go play a little while over here that they would always be able to like just come you know come home wow boy oh boy so where do they think things are heading for the two of you where do they think this is going exactly <laughs> marriage you know what i'm saying to the most stable place ever that's the that's their thought process guys and for this working on myself to come out i definitely get the energy of um a transformation okay but that shit takes time and who has that kind of time do you i would like to know you're like girl stop asking these dumb ass questions i'm just saying i'm just saying that's their thought process okay uh to regain this stability to show you their loyalty now to show you that they are more disciplined that they can be more traditional that they can be more down for you that you know what i'm saying wow um this is somebody who is currently trying to gain a position of power in your life i don't think that they're trying to have like a power struggle with you they just want you to choose them does that make sense they want you to put them above all else um all your other connections anybody else that you would have ever considered um anybody that you're considering now anybody that you're dating they want you to view them as like the, you know it your person because that's how they view you um but this is now somebody who is realizing that they are not equipped to have you right now but they they still want to lock it down and just kind of put you on layaway until they finish their work yikes <laughs> oh jesus <laughs> all right so what do they believe you currently feel about all of this? This might not be true, but you know, we spy over here. Oh, okay. So, okay. Is this true? So they feel like you are, they feel like you're bothered. You know what I'm saying? By this. That could very well be true for some of you. Please tell me down in the comments. Um, if you're over it, just chuck up the deuces. If this is something that you still are toiling with back and forth, um, just kind of put a number seven down there um it's a twin flame connection so you guys can energetically feel each other so if this is a twin flame then this would be correct um they can they can feel your energy um because it's mirrored so they are also they feel like you feel how they feel um bothered worried um kind of anxiety filled about what has transpired um mental anguish right um also a, a breaking point like you're at the, like it's almost like you were forced to release them even though you didn't want to now all none of this might not be true i'm just telling you this is how they feel you feel and they feel like it's mirrored energy um because the two of you are 
connected in that way, right? That contractual connection. Um, this might not be the case, but it's not far-fetched, right? For some of you, just be very honest with your girl. Let me know. I feel some of it intuitively. I did in the meditation. Um, I feel like this person has the regret portion of this because um, they took a moment to take an analysis on what they did and they now know they can see it like full picture outside of themselves outside of that ego outside of that pride and it has shaken them to the core that they could have done that right like to you that they could have behaved that way that they could have denied you you know especially after all that you were to them, all that you are to them. Um, and so it's kind of hurtful for them to look at that, right? It's painful for them to look at their fuck up. Wow. That's deep, y'all. I ain't even gonna lie. This shit is deep as fuck. It's heavy. It's heavy. Um, all right, so I'm going over to the extended. Can't, okay? So we're gonna take a look and see why things had to go down this way. I kind of have an idea, but I'm still going to take a look, okay? And see what Spirit has to say. Um, this will give it give us an idea of what the lesson was here for the both of you. Um, I'll take a look and see what the both of you's lessons were. I also want to take a look and see what karma this person might be facing that has brought them to this point of um, this awakening. OK, um, I'm getting very death card energy. So some of you can be dealing with a Scorpio. We also have fire signs very prevalently. So Aries, Sag, Leo. Um, so we'll take a look at that and then we'll take a look to see what their next steps or plans for you are moving forward. Their intentions for those, that's going to be the one. I want, what are those intentions? Because I, I don't feel all negative energy in these changes, but just because you change in the way that you should doesn't give you access, doesn't re-grant you access, okay? Um, twin flame or not, goddamn, it doesn't re-grant you access to the person. Um, we'll see what the potential outcome is, however, for those of you who um, will give this person another chance and those of you going in the opposite direction will look at both of those potential outcomes i want to see what spirit has to say in your spirit messages um we'll see what subconscious blockages might have you continuously encountering the same individuals that's an intuitive question that i got to ask you know what that's for you okay so we're going to take a look to see what that blockage might be in particular um this can also be the blockage or shadow that is stagnating your love life or stagnating prolonging union with your divine counterpart so I'm going to look at that as well and then we're going to take a look and see what's coming for you in your next cycle only the good shit only good stuff um, we'll get spirits advice for you in reference to what you need to focus on to set you on the right path for true fulfillment and happiness whatever that looks like for you everybody's recipe is different and then by, by popular demand we will have our pendulum read of course okay this is where I'll give you the opportunity to ask universe couple questions here but I'll have some more direction on over in the extended okay but first click that like button all right support your girl don't forget to do that and click the subscribe button become a part of our family we're growing tremendously guys i mean mwah, i love it chef's kiss um and i'll see you guys over at the extended okay it's gonna be linked down below i'll see y'all over there